Adding transitions is something you're going to be doing a lot of in any video editor. And here in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna set that up to do it with just one key. But first you need to know the defaults. And the defaults are, let me just select those clips there. So the defaults are Control T, boom. That's going to add transitions, as you can see, to our video and our audio that is selected. Control Z out of that. If I do just Alt T, that will add transitions to the video. If I do Shift T, by default, it's just going to add transitions to the audio. Again, that's uh, selected there. Now in trim mode, if I select an edit point, I can hit Control T, and that will just add a transition, our default transition to just that uh, video. Whereas if I had both of those points selected, Control T, of course, will add it to both. Or if I hit Shift T, it will be just the audio. Or if I do Alt T, just the uh, video. So we're gonna set this up for just one key because pressing two keys is a little bit cumbersome and not nearly as fast you know, as we, uh, as we could be. So we'll head up here to keyboard customization. And as you can see, Control T is the add transition. Just click that there. And right here is what we want. Now I'm just going to change the add transition. You can change these other ones if you want. Let's just get rid of this. And the key I would suggest you put this on is your backslash because it's not mapped to anything right now. And the backslash is also what we use in Media Composer. All right, so set that to backslash. You might wanna change these to alt backslash or shift backslash if you want, but I think all you really need is this one shortcut. So we'll choose save and we're good. So now I can just here in selection mode, highlight uh, you know this these edit points here on the video track, just hit my backslash, boom, and my default transition is applied. As you can see, right there. If on the other hand, I had the audio selected too, hit backslash, our default transitions are applied to the video and the audio. Pretty cool. And of course, in trim mode, I can just grab that and backslash, and there is my default transition. Control Z out of that. Again, here in trim mode, I can just draw a selection around, say both of those points, backslash, and there we have our fades or our cross dissolves in this case across both of those clips. We can of course drag these out depending on how many handles you have on your actual video clips, of course. We can also, let me select that, open the inspector, and in here we can change the center on edit, the say start it on the edit, end it on the edit, put it on center, change the type right in here too as well. Make that into a heart, looks kinda cool. Now what is our default transition? Well, let's come up here to our effects library. Under video transitions, you can see this red bar next to the cross dissolve. So that is our default. So instead of grabbing my cross dissolve and having to drop it on these points, right? Which is not that hard, but still takes a little bit too long. Instead of doing that, we can now just use backslash. Select both of those, backslash. There is our cross dissolve. Simple. But if you don't want the cross dissolve as your default, you can change it uh, to anything that you want. So maybe I want something sort of uh, weird here. We'll say this slide right here. So this is what a slide looks like right here. Play that back, you can see it slides in. I can right click it and say set as standard transition. And now that red bar is on my slide instead of my cross dissolve. So now with those edit points selected backslash, both of these now are gonna have slides. Pretty cool. Put this back to set as standard. Same thing, by the way, for the audio. The default is a crossfade at zero dB. Make sure I have that point selected or select it down there. So just the audio is selected. I can also select both of them. And then I have those cross dissolves or those crossfades on just the audio. And we can do the same thing with these as well. I can pull them out, make them longer, head to our inspector and uh, change things in here as well. And of course, if you wanna change your default transition, right click it and just say set as the standard here for your audio as well, all right? Much quicker than having to come up here in my effects library and grabbing those manually and trying to put them on my edit points. And lastly, let me come here and we'll just put our cross dissolve just by hitting our backslash key there. Right on this, let's say I set up a transition 
for something that's a little bit different. We'll make this ease in, ease out. We'll change the transition curve. And we could change other things in here uh, that we want uh, as well. Okay, change the style, make it uh, film there if we want. And now we have our transition set up. And let's say we're going to use this across all of our edit points for you know a certain style that we have set up. So let's go ahead and right click our transition and say create a transition preset. We'll call this uh, my transition. Go ahead and save that. Then we can come down here, find my transition, right click, set that as the standard. And now I don't have to go through and even find my you know custom transitions. I can go ahead and apply those by default. Again, let me zoom in here a bit. I'm just holding down Alt, by the way, and using the left right tilt on my mouse to zoom in and out. Make sure I select that edit point, hit my backslash. And this clip here isn't quite long enough, so I'll just say trim clips. And that will go ahead and apply my cross dissolve that I created right there on that clip. Let's get rid of this one here. We'll do the transition right here, backslash, and right there is that custom preset that we set up. We don't have to recreate it. We don't have to come in here and drag it in. We can just use the shortcut that we set up, our backslash key, to quickly apply our transitions across anything that we want here in DaVinci Resolve.